Um, so Cancer Hub have been working with uh, CMC Hospital since October 2019, albeit our relationship started um, much earlier than that and before the hospital um, opened. Um, so we tailored our solution working in collaboration with CMC based on the designs and, and the hospital uh, plans uh, that they gave us and we made sure that um, the TFM solution really met their needs and their requirements for making this a really great um, medical uh, facility. I mean the key thing uh, within healthcare is obviously quality and working to um, international um, standards and standards that are appropriate in a, in a healthcare environment. So um, we set up our, our services uh, with this in mind. So both our soft services and our hard services are um, working in, in, in line with international standards. So BICS <coughs> from a soft services point of view and uh, the healthcare technical memorandums uh, for uh, hard services. And all of our operatives have been um, trained uh, and inducted uh, to these standards um, prior to us uh, mobilising and, and starting on site. We took, um, uh, within the team, we've got individuals who have um, healthcare um, experience um, working internationally, uh, and we took that experience in, in, in conjunction with um, those standards um, and, and implemented that here. So that was right from our selection process. Um, so we obviously look to select operatives and employees who had um, pre uh, previous healthcare um, experience or had the ability to be trained um, and, and take on board what's required to, to meet um, that level. Yeah, so uh, it's a full, uh, fully integrated um, TFM uh, contract. Um, so we provide um, over 33 um, different services. We've got a team of nearly 90 people uh, and about 19 specialist contractors uh, that work for us. Um, some of the unique um, services that you find here include things like porterage, so that's the distribution of drugs um, to the wards. Um, also the movement of patients um, between uh, wards. Uh, we launder all the um, medical um, equipment and, and scrubs. Uh, and we also deal with things like the nurses' um, call um, system, all of the medical waste and so on and so forth. Since we've had the contract, unfortunately, um, you know, the, the world has changed and the COVID uh, pandemic has hit, so we've had to um, deal with that, that challenge, uh, which has involved um, training all of our operatives to um, proper infection prevention control measures and also um, uh, dealing with, with biohazards to um, you know, prevent um, any um, spread of, of, of COVID within the facility. So despite us being in the early stages of the contract, um, we've rolled out a number of, of, of innovative ideas here. So we've rolled out our fully functioning CAFM and, and mobile working solution so we can give the customer clear visibility on status of, of planned and reactive um, works covering all the, the assets. Um, we've also rolled out our asset management tool so the customer has a clear um, indication of, of uh, the assets within the building and the condition of those assets and our maintenance plan is, is based around that. And also there's a number of sustainability initiatives that have rolled out which focus on um, uh, reducing water and energy consumption. Unfortunately in, in the industry there's still at times a bit of lack of trust from the customer on um, uh, the, the FM service provider and their ability to provide services to the standards that they require. So at the minute outsourcing in healthcare is still um, a fairly new uh, concept here in the, the UAE. So um, the service provider has to be really confident that they are able to, to maintain and, and provide services to the standards that are required because it's a high risk and highly critical um, environment. So the customer really has to have that confidence and belief in the, in the service provider um, you know, to make the decision to to, 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 to trust them with, with these very important services rather than take the control in-house. 
So uh, Khan Sahib FM has exceeded our expectations. We partnered with them prior to opening as well as during commissioning and then now um, after opening. And it's been a great experience. Everybody's been very professional. They have allowed us to focus on clinical work and on the clinical workflows and allowed the frontline staff to do their job um, to its maximum because they were always there. They've helped with any facilities pre-opening, any planning, anything like that. Um, and then they continue to help now post-opening with um, any calls, anything that breaks, anything that changes. Uh, they're always there to help us. They're very uh, personable, they're accessible, and that has allowed us primarily and allowed my staff, my clinical staff, to be able to do their jobs. Um, whether it's the simplest thing of cleaning something or breaking a biggest machine um, or a wall that falls or something that happens with new construction, they've always been very helpful to, um, and responsive. Um, and that is very essential for people to do their clinical work because they're not experts at this. They're not engineers by training. They're not, you know, the, um, we all want to do the best we can. And if people are there and supportive, and it's a 24 seven job, the hospitals are open 24 seven. So to have a partner in facility management that's available 24 seven, that's um, able to troubleshoot with the clinician, able to be there um, whenever they need them, is crucial and essential for us to do a good job. And it's all about patient care at the end. So the patients are able um, to see that indirectly because they don't have to worry about where they are and they know they're safe. Um, their safety is, pr is also primary and they've, they've been very good about uh, making sure everything we do is safe, everything we change is safe. Um, and uh, it's been proven to be very, very essential as we started up together.